2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Our matchup tonight taking place in San Francisco, where it'll be the Warriors going up against the Miami Heat. For the Heat, here in the finals, and they remain undefeated in this postseason. They're the undisputed favorites at this point. We'll see if they can continue their unbeaten streak. And when you're entering a borderline must-win game, if you're the coach of this team, well, give me your best coach. Well, I'm going to bring it into, bring it in, guys, bring it in. So listen up. You know, we can't change anything that we've done. We've gotten here for a reason. There's no reason to change what you've done. Let's go! You're good enough. Yeah. You're good enough oh, right, now. Right, now. Right, right now. Right now. Right here. Right now. You could be anywhere in the world. Are you but you're right here. Are you but you're us? right here. Oh. And I'm an assistant coach. Maybe this team needs a little pressure. Playing without urgency is helping put them in this situation. Maybe pressure could get them out of it. Great, let's go. One, One two, two, three, three. team. Point Tower, perched high atop Telegraph Hill here in San Francisco. We're just about set for action. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. Along with Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Emmy-nominated writer-producer Bill Simmons. Again, you're in the seat, and again, we're so lucky to have I can't believe Brent Berry's here. How'd you get him? A lot of, and told him that you were going to come and oh, yeah. get a lot of sushi. <laughs> and told him you were going to join us. Wow. Four of the greats. I'm so delighted to be here. <laughs> Bill, in 2012, you wrote an article about the Warriors franchise, How to Annoy a Fan Base in 60 Steps. Yeah. A terrific piece. How fortunes have changed for this organization in every way. Yeah, team of the decade. Uh, you could say probably one of the five or six best teams ever. Five straight finals runs hadn't happened since Bill Russell Amazing. and the Celtics, you know, a million years ago. Yeah. And, uh, and one of the iconic backcourts ever, one of the best playoff players ever in Curry. And then, uh, you know, I just think we'll look back at them a little more fondly than maybe we they were remembered in the moment. People were so mad when Durant went there. It's a really fun team. My life was more fun with it, isn't it? And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, for a team that has the unbridled ambition of the Golden State Warriors, moving to San Francisco is fitting. A city whose fortunes have risen astronomically in this era of new technology. Now in Oakland, the Warriors were comfortable and successful in an arena that they had played in since the late 60s. But for a franchise that aspires to be light years ahead of the competition, moving to a billion-dollar stadium seemed obvious. Kevin? Oakland has been a wonderful home for the Warriors, but we know San Francisco will be too. Thanks, D.A. So here is Miami's starting group. In the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. Filling out the wings, it's Waiters and Butler. And it's Che in at the one spot. And for the Warriors, Curry and Russell are the backcourt set. In at forward, it's Thompson and Green. And it's Collie Stein in at the center. So the tip off, it's Miami. Waiters outside. Butler from outside. Draymond Green pulls it in. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Off target from three point range. On the wing, Chase. Last year, Draymond Green said he feels he's the greatest defender of all time. I'm assuming you've got something to say about it. He, well, he also defended it correctly. He was like, I say stuff to fire myself up, and I need to play at a certain level of confidence. And if I don't feel like there's a possibility I can be the greatest defender of all time, then I'm hurting myself. But I like the confidence. D2 from Russell. 
And it falls over the rim and in. Steph out there singing a lullaby to the defense gets them to sleep and then sets up the teammate nicely. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And he gets it back. Shea passes to Butler. Takes a three. And Shea with the basket on the assist by Butler. Shea's got his second bucket tonight. Just cannot slow down for a minute in this league. Shea ready to fire when he got that pass. Some nice passing by Golden State. Here's Green, and it's denied. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Jay with the ball. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Yeah, and that ability to just rise up for the alley-oop. Butler is an animal of an athlete. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Hurry from deep three-point land. The long distance threes bill. That's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Out of my hole, finds Waiter. And the Heat get another bucket right there. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside, Russell to the middle. Here's Green. Rebound by Owenick. A Heat leading by four. Back to Jay. Master Owenick outside Butler. Kicks to Jay. To the inside. And stolen by Russell. High post try. Miami grabs the miss. They are really pleased with the victory on Monday. Well, they, they came into that game looking to be physical, looking to control the boards, and they succeeded. Well, the last time it was about feeding off of the glass and getting rebounds to ignite the offense, and that came up big for them. Great opportunities to get out and run. You've been producing documentaries going deeper into athlete stories, which I know you love. Because I think you're curious more than anything else. Yeah. So, so what drew you to that process? Initially, it was uh, we dove into these stories with that that was the inefficiency of instead of these big, broad type of documentaries, concentrate on events and players and moments and things like that. And I think as you get into that and you start doing it, it just becomes intoxicating. And the cool thing about it is no story should be told the same way you would tell somebody else's story. You just don't know. You got to figure it out. But we had. Steve Nash's last Lakers season. He wanted to do a documentary about it, and then we spitballed it, and we decided it's actually a better idea to do an in-the-moment digital series about it that you could experience in real time with the thing. And it was the right idea, and that was really good. I think trying to figure out what story clicks the best with an athlete, how to tell whatever story they have correctly, is the coolest part of it. Shea passes to Butler. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Warriors trail by eight. Outside Curry. Fires for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Curry's got six. Oh, Steph Curry at his best right there. Has to wait The J shoots. AD that time from Curry. Well, with his touch from mid range, Kevin, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Wasted no time on that one. Curry's got his third basket of the night. Because Steph moves so well, anytime he can get some separation, he starts to feel once he gets the ball, he's going to find some points. The shot by Autobio, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Thompson inside the line. 
And Bill, we've seen more and more teams base their offenses around three-point shooters. Threes are at an all-time high. We know that. And should the NBA, that in mind, do anything to address this via any, any rule change? Which I don't know what that would mean, but but it has been talked about. I don't like changing. I think it's going to manifest itself with it doesn't work in the playoffs. And teams are going to slowly realize like that you need to blend an inside-outside game at least in you can't lose what the game is. It's no, you, bigs and smalls. It's inside. It's outside. And, and it's still passing and unselfishness. The Warriors take a lot of threes, but they're the most unselfish team we have, and they create a lot of layups, and they play, you know, they're really creative. You just can't. That just can't be your thing as we shoot 50 threes. Here's our offense. The problem is you're still going to get these games where two points really matters, you know, and that's what you saw with Kawhi in the playoffs last mm -hmm. year. These games slow down. It's going to be a 92 to 89 ending, and your team needs to get 10 baskets in the fourth quarter. No matter how you're going to get them, you still need somebody who can do that too. Trains it from beyond the arc. 15 points for Jay. Oh, six of eight from the field. 75 percent just scoring the ball at will. Pass to Cauley Stock. Back to Curry. to Russell and out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Shea number one second Stephen Curry and whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up both these guys have been lighting it up. Butler feeling out of it. Good ball movement here by Miami. Adebayo passes to Butler. Jay kicks to Olenek. Back to Jay. Count that as his seventh field goal. Nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Outside for Curry. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 11. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And, Bill, when you yourself get out on the court, is there a play you try to channel or emulate, try to visualize in your mind? You mean when I'm playing pickup? Yes, yes. Oh, well, now, at this point in my life, I, it's Davos Bertans. Is that how you say his name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Davis Burton. Davis Burton. Yeah, yes. By the way, great stroke. I, mean, I emulate all stretch fours. So yes. Don't guard anybody. Yeah. That's the way I'm at this point in my life. I run from three point line to three point line. You stay in the perimeter. Yeah. Don't don't tangle up inside. My free throw attempts are zero because yep. I don't go to the line. Just fire away. And I just I want you to know I'm there to make an open jump shot. And don't ask me to do anything else, please. I'll set some picks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are. You do. You're a great screen. I'll set set. some picks. You're, you're a great pick and roll. Guy. Burks' shot is good. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Back to Winslow. And the pass to Che. He kicks to Dragic. On the wing, Che. Clock at four. Another shot. Not going to go that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. Burks with it. Now guarded by Winslow. And that one is good. And now uh, just a five-point heat lead. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Trogic against Russell. No good from Trogic. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Now, Adebayo still looking for his first bucket in this one. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. One of the better free throw shooting bigs in the NBA. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. On the court for the Heat. Filling out the wings, it's Waiters and Butler. 
In the middle, it's Olenek in Adebayo. And it's Che in at the point. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Che in the last game against the Warriors was a man on a mission. He finished with 52 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. Kevin, we'll see what he's got in the to tonight. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. They're going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. Bill, if you're building a franchise from scratch, which one current player would you begin with or, or build around? Probably Giannis, because he's he's still young 25 this year. I still feel like the ceiling of what he's going to do is go up as he becomes more of a shot maker. He's really durable, which I think is underrated. Like, he's just built to play basketball. Um, there's certain guys like that. I think Kevin Garnett was like that. Mm -hmm. Tim Duncan was like that. Just guys who you just know are going to be around for 17, 18 years. The way I like to watch the running styles. And the game, game just comes so easy to him. He's so athletic. And he really cares. And he's really competitive. And just wants to do this and win and win at basketball. Um, that's how I feel. And just changing ends in transition there. You have to stick close to Russell defensively. Or he'll get crazy on him. From the arc, and stolen by Coley Stein. On its way from Curry for two, Russell. The putback is no good. Miami's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4, the baseline J. Waiters with the ball. Now Green defending. And Jay with the basket on the assist by Waiters. 20 points for Jay. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. And here is Cauley Stein. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Russell against Waiters. Russell, no good. The Heat have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Jay passes to Waiters. Back to Jay. And Olenek kicks to Buck. Jay outside. Find the shoot. Warriors with the rebound. Cauley Stein's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Inside, Green, and Green slams it in. For all the things that Draymond does, when he gets dunks, it makes him even more excitable. Bill, you look at the awards given out by the league. Most have been around for a while. Is there any award that you'd like to add? Something that's not being uh, touched on in terms of, of high performance and, and, uh, and success? I think that there should be a playoff. I made this case in my book that there's always like a best guy in every postseason, and I would like to see who that would be. And it's pretty easy to go backwards and figure out who it was. I did that. Um, just go backwards and have all the backstory of who it should have been, but then going forward, now here are the ones we're adding. I would like to see that. Um, I would also like to see a best bench celebration award. Because certain teams just have these guys, they're good at pointing, they're good at fist pumping, first guy during the timeout running over. Chest bumps. They have handshakes. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're waiting at the scores table before the game to do the special handshake with each guy. I feel like that guy deserves some shine. Uh, last year, DeAndre Jordan, I think, was one of the first guys I remember who was just great at this before he started playing. Late 2000s clips. I was like, man, this guy's really, he's not playing, but he's, he's really trying to affect the game. Good. I like that. And it's Russell in the corner. Offline with his three. Well, he leading by four. Butler on the way. He's covered by Thompson. Jay kicks the butt. Thompson sends it back. 
Now, Clay is a very good positional and on ball defender, but him getting to a block shot like that, that's impressive. Olinick with the steal. Pass to Autobio. And the rejection by Coley Stein. And they'll keep possession. Golden State's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Yeah, pretty safe to say that this is the kind of game that you just want to flush as soon as you get done with it. The drive by Jay. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on Willie Coley Stein. Jay head down, nose down, wanting to get in there. Not afraid to dribble in and earn some foul shots. Bill, you're a basketball historian. We know that. Um, do, do fans romanticize too much about the past? I would say the other way. I think they don't appreciate it enough. Especially like uh, the millennials and Gen Z. You know you're out there. You're playing this game right now. They tend to think the league started when Kobe showed up and that the 90s and the 80s didn't happen. I sense a real resentment from the younger fans with the LeBron versus MJ thing because LeBron's their guy. They get to watch LeBron. They don't want to hear that MJ was better than them, mm -hmm. so they make the case for LeBron and the way things are now. But what, what about like the Oscar Robertson, the Elgin Baylors? And we talked about, oh, yeah. my goodness, you talked about some of these players. Unbelievable. Yeah, the Fantastic 60s, 70s, 80s. Oh. I think part of what hurts is people can go on YouTube and when you watch some of the older stuff, nobody's playing mm -hmm. Stolen by Thompson. And there's the foul to try to stop the break, and that'll be a clear path to the basket. Two free throws coming up, and they'll retain possession. The Warriors shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Kevon Looney is checked in for Coley Stein. Russell with a wide open look sinks the triple. Russell's got seven points here in this quarter. So shifty with the ball in his hands. Russell changes pace with the best of them. Jay passes to Winslow. Back to Jay from deep three point range. And it's Russell with the rebound. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Four point game. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. 12 points for D'Angelo Russell. And we see this so many times. The defense so concerned with Clay Thompson's shooting ability that he's able to burn them with moving the ball. And always as enlightening as you're going to find. Bill, thank you so much for your insights. Always appreciate you joining us. I hope you come back. I, I don't want to leave. Why do I have to go? Can well, I, I just stay here for I, the I'm rest reading of this the game? note, and the note says, no, thank Bill. Go. I'm not leaving. Hope he comes no, back. I'm staying. Okay. <laughs> you know, Brent, it's a different kind of broadcast with Bill Simmons mic'd up. He lets it rip. Well, the thing about Bill is he's not going to hold back. He has some great, strong opinions, and he backs it up with a, a lot of facts due to the fact that he knows the history of the game quite well. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Shea, number one. And, of course, Stephen Curry. I think these two guys are having a little personal competition here in the playoffs to see who will finish with the most assists. Thompson dishes to Russell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And another thing you like about Russell, just good size at that lead guard position and makes him a handful to defend inside. And the Warriors making a change here. Burks is checked in. Jay kicks to Winslow. Back to Jay. Good ball movement here by Miami. To the paint. Here's none. That one's off. Still out of sync. Warriors leading by three. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. Back to Burks. They get it back. Nice activity from Winslow there on the defensive end. He was right up in the grill piece. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Warriors ahead, up three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Clay, how do you evaluate the first half? 
you know, they clog the lane and um, they play great held defense. Uh, we got to keep uh, driving and kicking, doing a great job of sharing the ball, and we just play ourselves. It should be great in the second half. We'll see if that ball can get to the weak side. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Are you look at Shea in this game. He has been everywhere. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. In it forward, it's Thompson and Green. Curry and Russell are the backcourt set, and it's Collie Stein in at the five down low. That's the Warriors' five. He's got great activity, does Willie Cully Stein, and that time the activity helped him to draw a foul. The Heat trail by five. The drive by Che. Chalk up two there. Che's got 30. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Raiders against Russell. Outside, Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, we know he's undersized for the position, but Draymond Green does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time the foul. And the second free throw, good. The Heat shooting around 40% from the floor here. The drive by Che makes it off the glass. Che's got four points this quarter. And you just cannot have any fear once you commit to taking it to the hoop. Jay showing some guts. Thompson against Butler. The shot by Thompson, no good. Miami trailing. Jay passes to Olenek. Jay with it. Now Green defending. And stolen by Coley Stein. Curry with it. Shea's there, and the shot goes down. 22 points for Steph Curry. That's tremendous balance. Steph's ability to keep his composure in that tough situation, work in a tight space, that's impressive. Shea kicks the butt. He's up to the stripe. Offensive rebound. And Adebayo throws it down. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Curry. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got nine rebounds now tonight. Shea passes to Butler. Can't tie it up as that one misses. This feels like it snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. The Warriors have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. That free throw missing. And the fire that Draymond Green plays with, I think, is the most admirable quality. He knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long, grinding 82-game season. Che dishes to Olenek. Che kicks to Butler. Back to Che. Waiters surveying the D. Heat moving the ball around. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Olenek. And something about it, the game feels like it's slowing down out there for Che, who's seeing the whole court. Pass to Curry. The teardrop falls in. Curry's got 27. Well, something sapped them of their energy defensively since halftime in the first half. Out there scrambling, running, hustling. Since then, not so much. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. 
Here's Russell. And it's good off the back rim and in. Russell's got 16. And the ball handling, body control. Russell with the nasty pull. Down low, here's Butler. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Curry on the wing. Or by Jay. Butler against Thompson. Six to shoot. Curry passes to Collie Stock. It's Autobio with the rebound. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. The game now all time. Shea's got 38 points. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Outside Curry dishes it to Thompson. Ball's knocked loose. Butler with the steal. On the wing, Shea. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Shea's got 12 now in this quarter. The Warriors have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Outside curve. Russell against Olenek. Russell passes to Green. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists tonight. You're not going to throw Draymond Green off his game. That's his job to do it to you. Staying focused there. He gets the contact and makes it. Picks it out the chain. Butler against Thompson. Launches a three. Shea, no good. Now he was terrific shooting the ball in the first half, but he looks a little bit slower out there. Possibly leg tired here in the second half. Over in the corner, Green. Another three for Golden State. You know, this team spaces the floor so well, and Draymond Green, if he's selective, can be somebody who can operate at the three-point line. Shea dishes to Olenek. Unable to get that one. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And Miami calls Sorry. their first time out of the game. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. Throw good, Russell. The second overall pick back in the 2015 NBA draft. Russell having earned his first All-Star game appearance in 2019. Shea drives in. And Rooney sends it back. Here's Burks. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little bit. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. The Heat making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Looney passes to Burks. There's the dish to Russell. Kicks it to Kerr. From deep. The shot, no good. Now the Heat take it the other way. The drive by Jay. And back when I first saw him in Summer League, one of the things that I liked about Jay is that he invites the contact, does not shy away from those kind of plays. The Heat have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Looney down low. Leonard's there. Looney passes to Pascal. Here's Curry with the three. And the Warriors get it back. 
and it's sent back by Leonard. There's some good commitment from Myers Leonard on defense there. Gets his hands up and swats that one away. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Jimmy Butler. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Here's Pasco. Covered by Winslow. Passes to Russell. Six on the shot clock. Some nice passing by Golden State. Drills the three-pointer. Brooks has got eight points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Warriors lead by two. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. on 2K Sports. What a time of year. Miami trailer on the court for the Heat. Butler and Olenek, the forward duo. Then it's Jay. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's none in at the two-guard spot. Kicks it out to Jay. Back to Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. Such a cerebral player, Che, reading the game out there. And he shows right there how he can run that pick and roll to perfection. Here's Pasco, defended by Butler. Pasco, the pass to Curry. Misses the three. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. All of that earned right there. It's become Che's mantra since he's gotten into the NBA. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so he makes both from the line. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line to this half. Curry passes to Pasco. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Olenek against Green. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got 11 rebounds in the game. Butler kicks to Jay. Back to Butler. The Trey. Rebound goes to the Warriors. Cauley Stein's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Pasco. Olenek is covering. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Miami's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. The pass to none. Back to Jay. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Jay's got 48. Ooh, the night is growing here for Che, but he's not won the gloat during the game, at least. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Russell. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number seven for him tonight. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. He's off on that one. The Warriors trailing. Here's Pascal. It's Autobio with the rebound. 
Adebayo's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. The epic counts and 12 points for Kelly Olynyk. And really the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olynyk. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. To the left wing. There's Russell with the three. Miami grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 11 points. Now here's Che. Butler on the wing. Che with it. He dishes it to a limit. Now that one is his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead, and they should count themselves to be lucky. Here's Pascal. Let's it go from 14. And the Warriors miss again. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Dion Waiters checked in for Miami. That free throw good from Butler. You know, and, and Butler wasn't a starter until midway through his second season. But, but since then, his minutes have gone up, and his productivity has gone way up. Here's Green, poked loose, Russell. Jack number 12 goes in. He's made 7 out of 12 now. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shot. Inside. And the dunk by Olenek. And he is pouring it on here offensively. Olenek looks to be warmed up. To the inside. Russell trying to get open is Thompson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Waiters. And here are the Warriors now. They trail by nine points. Pass to Curry for three. You always love to have guys on D who don't take possessions off. Che working on this side of the ball. Olenek, I post. Back to Che. Pass to Waiters. Pocket six. And they double up Che. It's tipped. It's stolen by Green. Russell with it. And it's Waiters picking him up. Now Russell. To the paint. Here's Green. Got a piece of it. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Feeds it to Waiters. Here's Otobio. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Cauley Stein's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Russell kicks to Kurt. Passes it to Cauley Stein. Here's the pass to Thompson. Shot clock at six. From outside, off the mark. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Well, the great thing about the NBA is that you can prove yourself on a nightly basis. Jay Stock fell staying four years in college. A lot of analytics guys don't like the fact that as you get older, uh, you maybe don't have the chance to reach a higher ceiling, but he's performed since he's entered the league. And here is Cauley Stein. Curry looking it over. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 17-6 run. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. This is already one of the most popular guys on the team. Che becoming more liked the more you make passes like that. Here's Russell. A solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Russell's got six points in the quarter. Now that basket must be widening out right now, Kevin. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. 
Jay kicks to Waiters. Back to Jay. Heat moving the ball around. Misses from close range. Warriors trail by nine. There's Russell with the three. It's Autobio with the rebound. And even without that three ball dropping to him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. A three. Rebound by Owenick. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. The Warriors shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Curry on the wing. Or by Che. Thompson dishes to Green. Shoots it up. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. And it's nine points for Clay Thompson. Shea outside. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Warriors trail by 11. Here's Green. Curry with a wide open look. And it's off from three point range. Curry with the steal. Pass to Russell. Over Butler. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got assist number eight here in this one already. And the Heat call time here. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Shea. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Miami leading by nine. Another one goes. Incredible. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Right side curve. Shea with the block. It's crazy to think the scouts were saying that Shea didn't play with enough heart. That block showing you that he wants it. it to Waiters. Back to Jay. He feeds it to Butler. Over Thompson. Second shot opportunity. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. They get Stephen Curry. Oh, nice up fake. I, I even saw you, Kevin, get out of your chair. Starting <laughs> four years of college ball, Jay has put so much into the game. And he makes the first. Well, the defense has failed to cut off any of these driving lanes, which is why they're resorting to fouling him, and he's hurting them from the charity strike. Warriors trail by 11. It's Curry outside. It's Autobio with the rebound. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Now, Jay's showing a little bit of a mean streak right now to his game, thinking dunk. Getting done. Warriors shooting 32% in the fourth, perhaps looking a bit tight. Now here's Curry, covered by Che. Lets it go with a three. And it's Stephen Curry with a three. Curry's got 14 points now in the second half. Have to get out on him. He'll burn you from there repeatedly. Pass to Waiters. Now here's Adebayo. He's guarded by Russell. Shea outside. Back to Waiters. Three-pointer. They get the rebound. Shea outside. Six on the shot clock. 
And the basket by Olenek. Olenek's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Here. Connects from three-point range. Russell's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Miami's gone ice cold from three-point land all four since the start of the final quarter. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. Shade drives in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Curry. That's the first, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Russell. let him left in the fourth quarter. Now the feed to call is done. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Evans, he's checked in for the Warriors. And uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five on the clock. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Jay. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Raiders against Thompson from downtown and the rebound goes to the Warriors and I think they realize any hope of a comeback is gone well realistic at this stage of the game they're going to lose this one but will they take something from the loss well the fact that he has that many rebounds for a guy of his size and stature shows you he truly cares about grabbing possessions off the rim and they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked. If this is Zach and the Hornet on 98.9 The Flex, the official home of your Miami Heat. Get hip or get stuff.